Well, in other news tonight, if you're feeling extra tired, depressed, or just sad for no reason recently, you may be experiencing symptoms of seasonal affective disorder. With more than 3 million cases in the United States every year, you may have seasonal affective disorder without knowing it. Frances Lynn spoke to a clinical psychologist about this and the dean of students at OTC who explains how it can affect students' performance in the classroom. Students have enough stressors as it is, uh, but typically around October, you know, midterms are coming up. Also, just with the colder weather, uh, less sunshine. OTC's assistant dean of students, Andrew Goodall, says it is harder for students to go to class during the colder months. We do see an increase in appointments to the counseling center. Uh, a lot of students are seeking resources, assistance to try to cope with these increased stressors and how they're feeling. The college students, they, you know, they might wake up. And they might walk to class outside, but if it's cold, you know, they, they're walking as quick as they can. They don't hang out and linger in the courtyards as much as they normally might. Clinical psychologist Dr. Curtis Matson says SAD symptoms are very similar to any other type of depression. Problems with, you know, fatigue and uh, having trouble sleeping and appetite changes, uh, loss of interest in activities. Anything from lethargy to decreased appetite to inactivity, loss of interest in activities. The lack of exposure to sunlight actually reduces. Serotonin. serotonin is a chemical that contributes to well-being, otherwise known as the happy chemical. You wake up in the morning, you go to work and it's dark. You work inside all day and you leave to go back home and it's dark and so people go entire days and they haven't been exposed to the sun um, and so we do know that that does affect serotonin production in some people. They shared some ideas to get through the depressive season. Light therapy where students can use different mechanisms to increase the light in their home during the cold, dark winter and fall months as well as letting more light into their living spaces. Part of depression is when you're less active and you're oversleeping and you're just kind of laying around not doing things things, part of that behavior change can be just getting out and doing more things. Increased activity and socialization, that's something that students find refreshing and reviving to them. That was our Francis Lynn reporting. Now, there are several local resources that can help if you think you may have SAD. For a list of those resources, visit our website, ozarksfirst.com.